welcome back to my channel. This is Markeisha and today I am going to share with you a couple of projects that I created for two collabs that I am currently in. So each Sunday for the month of February at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, I am joining my dear friend Betty along with some wonderful cap crafters for Gingerbread Fever 2024. Today, I also will be sharing a project for Christmas All Year, which is hosted by Betty Scrap Passion 01. I will have all of the participants for both collaborations down in the description box below so that you can go over and check out what they created on today. I had so much fun today, guys, creating my projects, and so I cannot wait to share with you what I created. So first, I'll go ahead and share with you guys a couple of tags that I created. These and are the gingerbread tags here, guys. This is a silhouette file. And what I did was use some of the, some ephemera pieces to just add, you know, some additional bling to the actual tags. I have some string here at the top. So this is all ready to go. Um, I did add some marshmallows on this cup. I added a little sticker there that says it's a hot cocoa kind of day. And this is more so on a Christmas gingerbread theme. So this will go with the Christmas all year. So these are some tags here that I already have for Christmas. And then here's the other one. I just added a cute little ginger here. And then this one says jingle all the way. And I just combined gingerbread dye that had some marshmallows in there. And so what I will do guys, I will have the products below that I use for my projects on today. And I also will share the um, silhouette SVG files ID for all of the silhouette files I used on today. So here is project number one. All right, keeping with gingerbread fever, here is a cute little ginger box and it has some treats down in the inside. I tried, I tied some seam binding and this is so cute and so fun, guys. You can put whatever you want in here. I could really see you actually cooking some gingerbread cookies maybe and sticking those down in the inside of this. And so I added some pom-poms. You guys know I love uh, adding pom-poms to my projects. And yeah, and this stands up, guys. It is so, so cute. This is, again, a silhouette file that I um, use. I am really loving using my silhouette to create projects because I really think that if we have these tools, we need to be using them, right? And so here is my project for number two. All right, guys, here is my third project. And this goes along not only with the gingerbread, but I also pulled in the wintry Christmas feel. Um, I use this gorgeous paper here, and I love how this turned out. So um, this is a gingerbread die that I use, and I'll try to um, add a card here for you guys to see that um, die itself. But what I did was just cut out a little cup. I added some little um, white little specks in the actual little heart cheeks there. I added this little charm that I had or stick pin I had in my stash that says joy. This says so much fun. And guys, this is a record player. I have had this on my crafty bucket list for quite some time and it opens up like this isn't that stinking cute guys i love it so in the inside here is another ginger that i used and i added um some little cookies here down at the bottom that was actually part of the die again i just used that paper line I added some little eyes here, and these are pre-made eyes. Sometimes, guys, with these little gingerbreads, I like to use, um, you know, pre-made eyes that I already had. I had cut those out or actually downloaded those. I'm not sure if that company is actually still um, open, but yeah, I just have quite a bit of those, so I always kind of use those. And so it kind of just folds down. So this is the actual record there, and I didn't um, actually allow it to spin because what I did was use this cuddle bug old Paris embossing folder you can't really see that guys but you can see it a lot here on the actual 
record there. And then I added hot chocolate weather there. This is the little handle for the uh, record player. I have it popped up on some pop dots there. I did distress this little ginger, ginger here with vintage photo. And yes, I love how this turn, turned out, guys. Close it back, it has a little handle here on there. And then at the bottom, I just simply added uh, walking in a winter wonderland and so this is so cute guys I absolutely love this little project here and I'm so glad that I decided to take the plunge sometime with silhouette files or any file Cricut design files sometimes they can be a little bit intimidated for 3d but I am loving the challenge guys of just making myself get out there and do it so I absolutely love this. All right, guys, thanks so much for stopping by today. Don't forget to go over and check out all of the participants down below. Don't forget to stop over at Betty's channel, Scrap Passion 01, the uh, host of these collaborations. And um, also, guys, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love if you take a moment to hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so that you'll know whenever I upload another video. Check me out on Instagram, guys, at Markeisha Turner 7 and I will talk to you guys in my next crafty video. Bye now.